Hey guys, okay, so today I decided to do a video on a back to school makeup tutorial. It's been super requested. Um, a lot of back to, back to school stuff has been really requested, and I just really haven't gotten around to doing it. And I decided, you know what, I need to go ahead and get that done because, you know, school is coming up, and people, some people have probably already gone to school, and I feel really bad that I haven't done a video yet. Um, but I decided I wanted to go ahead and do one today because, um, and I also, the inspiration for my look is. It's got like greens and um, it's all neutral colors, but it, the like it has like a minty green in it, which is really pretty on my eyes. Um, and that's kind of my inspiration because, like I said in my advice video um, on makeup that I would wear for like the first day or whatever, would be more neutral tone, something that's not extremely, you know, attention grabbing, but still you kind of hold your own. That's why I kind of added in the you know minty green. And I thought this would be the perfect tutorial. Um, and I also wanted to stick to the most drugstore products that I could possibly stick to. Um, and I have this Maybelline one, which I showed in my um, advice video. But I decided um, I'm not going to do this one because, I, like I said, I wanted to do something that's more neutral toned. But this is really good, you know, if you want to wear this to school too. These little palettes are really cool. But I also had this Revlon palette, and it's a cream eyeshadow palette, and it's in khaki suede, and it's one of these, the Revlon ones, and I'll try to open this up. They're so hard to open. Um, and you can see this is the minty green one that I'm talking about, and I'm using every single shade of these in my tutorial. I decided to go with this one because this is more neutral tones, but yet it has one pop of, you know, nice pretty color that's really pretty. And I really like it, so that's why I decided to go with that. And I think cream eyeshadow is, you know, really natural looking, and especially, you know, if you're young and stuff, you, want, you don't want to look too cakey and all that. So I decided to go with that for you guys. I just picked this up, and... Um, well, I've had this, so it's old. I don't even know if you can get this, but I picked this up out of my makeup collection thing or whatever, um, because I saw this, because I was looking for, like, a nice drugstore palette, and I came across this, and this was absolutely perfect for you guys, so I'm not going to ramble on and on, but also this video is going to be announcing the giveaway winner as well, because, um, I'm not going to make a separate video for it, and I figured this was an okay video time to do it, because I just feel like doing it. And I don't know who it is yet. I'm fixing to go to random.org and I'm going to select the winner. And I will show them right about now. Okay, so whoever that was, you won it. But anyways, just letting you know uh, who is the winner. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm just going to apply it to both lids and I'm also and then I'm gonna blend that in and then I'm going to um, put a little bit on the inner corners of my eyes then I'm gonna take my Stila smudge pot in kitten and I'm just going to take my finger and I'm just gonna apply that to the inner corner of my eyes Okay, now that I've highlighted my inner corner, sorry I look like a creeper in the back smiling back there, but I am going to take that champagne-y um, peachy shade and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid with my fingers. Just try not to um, mess up the inner corner part that you did. You still want that to be nice and highlighted, um, but everywhere else in your lid you can do. Okay, now I'm going to take that pretty minty green and I'm just going to apply it on the inner part of my lid, probably to about halfway on my lid as you can see I'm doing right now. Next I'm going to be taking this pretty forest green eyeshadow and I'm going to apply that to the outer third of my lid. I'm really not trying to put it in the crease because I'm trying to save that for the brown that we're going to be doing next. So just focus on putting it on the outer third. Okay, now I'm going to take this pretty matte brown and I'm going to apply this in the crease. 
make sure that you're very careful with how you apply it. Um, less is more and you can always build it up. You don't want it to become one big globby mess, basically is what I'm trying to say. So just be careful. Okay, now I'm going to take my Prestige Brown Coal Eyeliner and I'm going to apply that to the outer third of the top of my eye in a very thin line. Okay, now I'm going to take my Maybelline Eyeliner in on the rocks and I'm going to line my lower lid. Okay, now I'm going to take my Shu Amora Eyelash Curler and my Dior Eyelash Primer and I'm just going to curl and prime my eyelashes. Okay, now I'm going to take my CoverGirl Last Blast Volume Mascara and I'm just going to apply that to my eyelashes on top and bottom. Okay, now I'm just going to take some pink blush. It comes up a little more nude, but it's actually a nude pink color. And I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. Okay, and then for lips, I'm going to take my Maybelline Lip Polish, and it's in the shade Pinch of Pink. And I'm just going to apply that to my lips. I'm not going to use lipstick today, just because I think that since it's high school and you're teenagers, um, I recommended, you know, just going with a nice gloss, which I think is really pretty. And for most of my high school years, I only used a lip gloss. So thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye.